Coffee and Headlines is brought to you by the generous support of our viewers and the following community partners. Best Court Cutting TV, Bravo's Restaurant Bar, Joint Boutique Hotel and Cowork, Puerto Vallarta Neurofeedback, Puerto Vallarta Owner's Reps, Oculto, and Siam Cocina Time. Thank you for your support, and thank you for supporting our community partners. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our morning get together, where we take a look at news from our city, state, and country. We take a look at your comments, ideas, and suggestions, and we combine all this information to hopefully enjoy a more connected life here in Puerto Vallarta as a community of English speaking locals. It is a pleasure to see you to look at my lips. Oh, I've been biting on them. Sorry, my bad. Let's do this. There you go. I feel much better already. <laughs> um, today is Wednesday, September the 18th, and I am so happy to be here with you. I have a few bits of news to share, and uh, oh no, tire flat tire replacement Landia. I hope this doesn't have to do, good morning, Eric, I hope this doesn't have to do with the quality of the highways, which I know once... Uh, they start getting potholy. It's very easy to bust a tire if you're driving too fast. Anyhow, it is a pleasure to see you all this morning. We have some interesting <clears throat> cultural lessons from the governor of Nayarit and a couple of other news. Let's just get going. Well, well, <laughs> where is uh, founded? Okay, never mind. The municipality of Bahia de Banderas welcomed its new mayor, Hector Santana, in a ceremony that was attended by Nayarit Governor Miguel Ángel Navarro. Now, since Puerto Vallarta's mayor-elect Luis Munguia was present, Governor Navarro took the opportunity to remind our new mayor that while we have a lot of collaborative work ahead for both municipalities, Puerto Vallarta and Bahia de Banderas, it is Nuevo Nayarit, not Nuevo Vallarta. The governor added that he appreciated the support and understanding from our mayor as it was important to raise the self-esteem among Nuevo residents. Yes, Governor Navarro implied that there are many residents in Nuevo that are suffering from self-esteem issues because he changed the name from Nuevo Vallarta to Nuevo Nayarit. All I can say is I hope that there is good uh, mental care available in the state of Nayarit for all these people. We don't want anybody to be struggling with town name changes or anything of the sort. We don't. We really don't. Anyhow, a beautiful 15-year-old palm tree was removed from Francisco Medina Asensio as part of the ongoing improvements of the lateral road, and now folks are wondering, where did the tree go? The specimen was close to 12 meters tall, and aside from its beautifying and green factor, the palm tree has a market value of between 10 and 20,000 pesos. So now you see why more than a few are left wondering what happened to it. Hopefully, there will be a follow-up to this topic. And tomorrow, this is just an FYI, tomorrow is September 19, which means that there will be a national earthquake drill tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. In reality, each state in our country develops its own drill premise according to each state's risk factors. In Jalisco, the premise for the drill is a magnitude 8.0 earthquake with an epicenter 13 kilometers southwest of Chamela. 
So what does that mean to us mere mortals? Well, for starters, if you've never been in one of these, it means that you may hear some sirens that you normally associate with tsunamis and things like that. Or um, you may get a notification in your cell phone if you are so connected. And what also goes on is um, many public buildings and some hotels go through the exercise of evacuating just to make sure that they are able to do that in the allotted amount of time. So it's not like you need to get concerned or anything. If you're home and you hear the alarms going on at 11, it's just a drill, nothing to be concerned about. And there is a new federal holiday in Mexico, but this one will only be celebrated every six years. Moving forward, every time a new president takes over the government of our country, which happens on October 1st, it will be celebrated as a federal holiday. And since this year it lands on a Tuesday, chances are that many Mexican nationals will end up creating a long weekend for themselves and we may see a rise in tourism on that particular weekend. Can you believe that Mexico will have its first female president in less than three weeks? I think that is amazing. Anyhow, let's take a look at our weather just to see what is going on out there. What? Who wants to buy a pager? says our snarky weatherman. There must be some pager-related news that I missed somewhere. It is 29 degrees right now. Humidity is at 62%, and our, work, our weather forecast for today says we're going to have a humid day with partly cloudy skies throughout the day, a chance of rain of only 14%, a high of 32, and a low of 22 Tomorrow, Thursday, mostly cloudy skies in the morning with rain in the afternoon, a chance of rain of 43, a high of 32 and a low of 22. And then on Friday, partly cloudy skies in the morning with rain in the afternoon, a chance of rain of 76, a high of 32 and a low of 24. Moving on with a couple of other headlines that I collected for you. This is interesting to me. Guadalajara's Colonia Americana is set to become the state of Jalisco's first barrio magico or magical neighborhood. Let's unpack this a little bit for those of you that don't know. Mexico has had a tourism program um, for towns in Mexico that have somehow managed to maintain their cultural uh, and historical integrity through the years. And we have 132 of such pueblos magicos or magical towns throughout the country. For example, San Sebastián del Oeste here in Jalisco is a pueblo magico. The town of Mascota is a pueblo magico. But in, um, in the recent past, the government also decided to develop the, the label of a neighborhood that is magical for larger cities that are way too large to to be a, a pueblo or a small magical town but a city can contain a specific neighborhood within itself that is historical and that has managed to preserve its identity in fact the local government the outgoing government has been in conversations with some of the business associations in Puerto Vallarta to develop El Centro as a magical neighborhood. That hasn't really happened. So it's interesting to see that Colonia Americana in Guadalajara will probably become the first barrio magico in the state. We recall not too long ago that Colonia Americana was, I think it was nodded by, I think it was Time Out New York that came out and said that Colonia Americana is one of the best neighborhoods in the world, I think, was the, the, the statement by the publication. So good for Colonia Americana, good for Guadalajara. And um, do I think, well, let's not even get into the discussion of whether um, Puerto Vallarta's downtown area can or should become a Pueblo Magico or not. Um, there are some requirements needed, and I just don't see 
our downtown area fulfilling those requirements just yet. A quick reminder today, if you have nothing else to do, today at 6 o'clock you have a wonderful opportunity to go out and play Spanish Night Out with Agus Eiti Leda, our new friend who is a Spanish teacher and an activities uh, guide and a fitness instructor and who also makes amazing cashew butter that everyone should try. We also have this reminder that on uh, Saturday, <clears throat> there's another Iguanas game coming to town. And I was happy to get news from Carmen Porras yesterday. She's going to join the spotlight along with local author Giga Watts. Carmen wants to tell us all about the ingredients or some of the ingredients that she's going to feature in her upcoming open public dinner, rather, which will take place on Saturday the 28th at Oculto at 7 p.m. I can't wait to hear about this, and I'm sure we will have a wonderful time conversing as we usually do. So if you are in Emiliano Zapata this afternoon and would like to come by and say hello, we're going to be broadcasting from Café Rio on the second story of the Joint Boutique Hotel starting at 4 p.m. Better get there a little early as the cafe closes at 4. Um, and if you want, you can also choose to watch from the comfort of your own home or choose to watch later on Facebook or YouTube. And now let's have a look at this. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Ho, ho. ¿Qué onda, Paco? ¿Qué pedo, Alan? ¿Qué pedo? Uh, six days till Mexico excursion. If you see a gringo walking around in an Aquiles boot, it's probably me. Caramba. Caramba is such a great word. Six days. You're almost here. Thank you for sharing. Hi, Jim. It's good to see you, my friend. Uh, is there a crackling microphone this morning or is it just me? Um, I hope we're not crackling. Um, I really do because I've had occasional crackling information. Hold on just a second. I hope you don't mind if I check this on the fly. We don't want any crackling going. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Do we have any crackling? We may have some crackling. I'll check it on the end after the end of the broadcast. My apologies. Um, oh, wait. Hold on just a second. Just one second. Do, 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 do. Crackling, crackling. I don't hear any crackling. How bizarre. And I am connected directly to my mixer. Maybe it's gone away. Um, thank you for the reinforcement, Sean. Um, I wonder if anybody knows why Logan is saying stock up on more bolillos. And if you do, tell us why. And if you don't, I will tell you why. I'm still distracted by the crackling because I'm determined to make sure that I identify it but I don't hear any crackling right now. So let me focus on you. Uh, oh, honey, if I was a magical host, this wouldn't exist and my tummy would be gone. Uh, but thank you very much for that. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Let's see.
one of the coolest 51 neighborhoods along with our flood prone Versailles. You mean caca water flood prone Versailles. Yes, it is. It is quite something. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -da -ba, ba -di -ba -ba. It's been crackling since Telcel reconnected me. Ooh. <clears throat> that is a big statement. Um, Laura, have I been crackling since, well, Telcel didn't reconnect me. It was actually Telmex. Uh, the crackling seems to come and go. Fair. Thank you. Crackles when you speak louder, me thinks. I am looking at my meters and I am not seeing my meters show an overloaded um, signal. Let's see. As long as we're here and you don't mind me. I... Oh, oh well, that is loud. Of course that is loud. Let's see. I, 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 I see it's not supposed to crackle and it's not crackling in my ears so I promise I will keep an eye on this moving forward I've been meaning to replace my mixer for some months now and I've talked about it in the past but this year's um, community partner budget went to improve other things we went and got um a new camera that we use for the spotlight to create beautiful effects and um but uh da -da -da -da. this is your microphone this is your microphone on crack oh that is funny haha <laughs> that is funny well cracking or not i think it's it's time to call it um as always it's a pleasure to connect with you thank you for pointing out the crackles to me I'm always happy to address these things whenever I can. Sometimes things are not within our power to fix, but a crackle on the microphone is definitely within my power to fix. The Facebook issue with the show notes, that is a weird one because it continues to be wonky. So what I'm doing now is I am putting the show notes up as usual and then a link in the first comment so if you check out the show notes and you're not able to click on the photograph or the title as usual please look for the first comment and thank you very much for pointing all these things out to me we aim to have the best broadcast possible and your comments go a great deal in helping us achieve that that's it for today See you this afternoon for the spotlight, and if not, I will see you tomorrow morning for Coffee and Headlines. Take care.